Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here. So today I would just like to quickly talk about how to add variation in your drum loops. Now a lot of the times when I'm starting to work on a new idea or a new track, uh, I'll typically start by just trying to make one loop sound really great and then I'll build up that loop so it has lots of elements in it and then from there I'll usually start to build my arrangement around that loop uh, by either adding more elements or by subtracting elements that already exist. Now if I get lucky and I create a, a, a beat or a rhythm or a melody that just sounds amazing, um, then usually I'll want to hear that a lot throughout the track. Now the problem with that is that uh, if, you, if you start to copy and paste one part that sounds really good and you just hear it over and over again or it's just overplayed um, too many times within your track, then it can quickly start to lose its interest and you know it just won't have that magic anymore. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is show you a little trick that I do uh, that if I like a loop um, all you really have to do is make a few subtle changes or variations to that loop and you can sort of get away with extending that loop um, more times because there'll be these little changes going throughout it then your ears are still going to um, interpret it as hey this is still new this is still interesting right um, okay so without rambling on anymore here uh, I've just got one loop here I'm just gonna go ahead and play it for you guys and then we're gonna copy and paste it uh, a few times and we're gonna just try and maintain that interest just by changing a few things so uh, yeah let's get started Okay, uh, so pretty simple, nothing complex, nothing amazing here. It actually sounds fine being being played uh, twice through, but I guess uh, just for the purposes of just making this tutorial not last so long, uh, we're just going to make the variations uh, for each loop. So let's go ahead, uh, just copy and paste this. Just going to adjust my loop bar up here. Oh, come on. All right, and uh, now we're just going to go ahead, uh, just have a listen to it, and uh, just see what I can change up. Uh, let's see here. Let's try adding an extra snare hit somewhere in here. Uh, another one here as well. Let's just remove one of these kicks. Okay, that'll work for me. Um, now, what we can also do is we sort of have this main loop here, and then I guess this will be the first variation. Now, um, depending on, I guess, how you want to uh, start to arrange your track, you can probably go back to the first variation here like you don't have to make a variation of this one here so um, yeah I'm, I'm really not sick of this uh, by any means yet so let's just go ahead we'll take the first loop and we're gonna drag it over here because um, because the first variation changes I think we're able to still go back to the first one uh, I just think that we can get away with it so uh, let's just play all of them now uh, we'll run through and just see uh, how it sounds Okay, uh, I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy with that. Um, so what I want to do now is we need to have another variation here, but instead of making a variation of the first one again, uh, which are these two, let's go ahead and make a variation of the variation that we've already done. Uh, so I'm just going to make sure I grab all the right ones here. There we go. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this loop here. 
Uh, I don't know, maybe let's go uh, just a bit more complex here. Let's see what we can do. quick little fade out to this one so that we don't get that little clicking sound. Uh, let's add two little snare hits right in here. Um, kind of filling a triplet somewhere in here, let's see. Actually, not a triplet. We'll just do uh, we'll do four of these. Again, we'll add that little ten millisecond or fade out. Uh, isn't it snapping? For some reason, uh, in Logic X, it wants to snap to weird places with the uh, with the smart snap on. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's see here. No, you need to be on one. All right. Let's see here. Okay, uh, let's see. Ah, what the heck, we're gonna add, uh, we'll do four snares near the end here. Why not? Again, they're not really lining up perfectly, but whatever, it sounds fine. Okay, so now we have, uh, we've extended our one loop into, uh, I guess, essentially four loops now. Uh, let's just have a listen through and see if we need to change anything. Okay, you know what? Um, I think that, that this loop down here and the hat filler, I think this is too much. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just get rid of this. Um, now see, we don't always have to be adding elements. Uh, sometimes subtraction can be a good thing. Uh, I don't even think we need these in here as well either. So let's go ahead, we'll get rid of all these. Uh, is that the first one? No, we can get rid of this one here. All right, so now it's gonna start off a, a bit more simple and then it's gonna work its way to becoming progressively more complex and then it'll repeat itself again back to the uh, more simplistic ver version which will be a nice change for our ears. So let's once again have a listen and see how it sounds. Okay, wow, that sounds really great. So just, uh, I think what had the most impact was just removing these, this uh, extra extra filler stuff, um, taking it out and then having it come, come back in again really just adds that interest to your ears because it's more than just a subtle change. So when, so when you combine that with the variations within, I guess, the main beat itself, then uh, we end up having one really fantastic loop. And where I can see this loop going from here is, uh, I really like the progression of these four bars, let's say, or I guess you can technically call them 16 bars. Um, I would probably do something like this where I'd copy the whole section again, because I have no problems with how this beat sounds. I think it sounds great. And uh, what I would do is then try and add some variation to the, uh, 
um, to the keys, maybe add some harmony or something. Um, actually, you know what? Heck, let's just go ahead and record a lead here. I already have a lead set up. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and try and record something to extend our loop from 16 to 32. Keep in mind, I'm not the best piano player, but I shall do my best. Okay, here we go. Okay, a little bit slow on the last one there. We're just going to go ahead and quantize this. So Command A and Q. Let's just have a quick listen. Okay, uh, not too bad. Just going to quickly give this a new color. Uh, let's sort of do the same thing like we did with our first loop. So we had uh, the main loop, then we made a variation, then we had the first loop again with a bit of changes. But uh, so let's go, uh, let's consider this like one, two, three, and four. So we're going to have one and three be the same. And then I'm just going to go ahead and record a variation for, uh, for loop two and then a variation for loop four. So let's see if we can quickly get something going here. Quantize again, this one moved. Okay, and we're gonna record our last variation here. And uh, okay, let's just let's just let's just wing it this time. Whatever, kind, kind of cheesy, but you know, it works. It's still a variation. Um, spend a lot of time on your melodies, okay? Uh, let's see here, we're gonna quantize this again. Let's just go through the whole lot. Uh, we don't need to hear the beginning again. Let's just go ahead and hear it uh, with the lead. We'll start from about halfway here. And there you go. And that's how you write a number one hit. I'm obviously kidding. Um, so yeah, hopefully this little trick slash technique slash whatever you want to call it uh, will help you guys out. Um, yeah, just keep practicing. Just keep having fun. And uh, as I always say, if you keep experimenting, you will never stop learning. And that's pretty much how I just come up with these little ideas or tricks or whatnot. So. Yeah, go ahead, uh, have fun with this guys. I uh, hope it really helped you out. As always, leave me your questions and comments and feedback. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.